Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Leprosy Challenge. It's Sunday morning and Keith just repaired both the, the toilets and the sink in the kitchen. He has quite a bit of a mess to repair, but I think today he's going to receive a little bit of help. Oh, look at that! They are actually flirting with each other on their own. That's really sweet, but I don't want to wait too long. What is he asking? Oh, he wants to give her a friendly hug. Let's go and give her a friendly hug then. But yeah, I don't want to wait too long before asking her to move in. So how do we do this? Let's ask about day. I think we need to work a little bit more on their relationship then. Let's try to get to know her because we still have one trait to know about her. And maybe that trait is going to end up being like evil or something, although I doubt it because we haven't seen her do anything bad. Uh, let's... I don't know, let's ask to clean up. We could do that because she's still here, by the way. It's 9 in the morning, she woke up, she on her own went into the into the fridge and took some waffles out for her breakfast which i actually kind of appreciated you know i really like how she she feels at home here uh no thanks maybe we can hang out with marcus a little bit later maybe as soon as we ask lydia to move in maybe we can uh, we can go out with marcus Although I wanted for Keith to work on his opportunity here to assist the accountants at the business office and to have a ch chess match with Clarissa finally, because it's Sunday, she probably doesn't work today. Although if she works in the culinary career, she might actually have the day, have a shift today, but we'll see. Ask out on a date? No, I want to ask you to move in. There we go, he can finally ask her to move in. Let's go and ask her to move in then. We're finally going to know everything about Lydia and they're finally going to be a couple together. I mean, technically they're a couple, but they're going to be moving in together. It's a huge step in a relationship, so I'm so excited for these two to do this together. I honestly thought that it was going to be a little bit more difficult for Keith to find someone that could suit him so well, you know, that he could actually envision his future with. I mean, he he went out with a couple of other, other women, but... From the get-go, it just didn't work with these women, whilst with Lydia, it just worked directly. Alright, so now he's actually going to ask her to move in. Please say yes. I mean, she's his girlfriend, she thinks he's being friendly. I don't know if you have the same interaction, you know, to ask her to move in through the romantic interactions. But here we go, so Lydia is going to bring in... I don't know if she's going to bring in any kind of money, she doesn't seem to have a whole lot. She's going to sell all of her furniture and do we... You know what, I'm going to make Meister Lockhart if I can. Yes, I can, because she's going to keep her name and I like having those double, doubled names. <laughs> I don't know how to call them. But yeah, let's go. And I think she's going to bring in a little bit of money because we're going to have 7,000 simoleons apparently now. Yay! It's been so long since I had a sim move in in The Sims 3. I remember when I was playing The Sims 3 back in the days. This... Oh, 5,000 simoleons. Cool. Keith Meister just asked Lydia Lockhart to move in with him. A, com a commitment like this is a moment to remember for sure. Lydia Lockhart decided it was time for a change and just moved houses. She will always remember getting fed up with how small her dwelling was and concluded it was time for an upgrade. Well, it's not really that huge of an upgrade compared to what you had before. I think it's actually a downgrade a little bit. Anyway, Lydia Lockhart just moved in with Keith Meister. They'll all, they will always remember the day that they decided they wanted to enjoy more of their life together. Oh, that's so sweet! But yeah, I remember back in the days when I was playing The Sims 3, it was just so stressful when I had my Sims move in because of this pop-up that happened. I don't know why, but the pop-ups like this in The Sims, especially in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, stressed me out when I was a kid. Alright, so let's see who she is. So she loves the outdoors, she's handy, she's a genius, she's a computer whiz, and she's friendly. Good to know. She likes purple. Cookies. Oh, we can maybe make her some cookies and she enjoys pop music. She's a Leo and she wants to be a forensic specialist dynamic DNA profiler. How far are you? She's at the level 8. Cool. She needs to reach the level 10 of the forensic branch. Although I don't think she's in the forensic forensic sorry branch here she's a spatial agent maybe she should change her lifetime wish how many oh she only has two that's sad well anyway i'm going to have her help keith out a little bit and clean a little bit the place 
Let's go uh, map of the puddle and what do you want to do? She wants to invite a sim over, she wants to train someone, she wants to become good friends with someone. Okay, I'm going to keep all of those because these are the first wishes that she has. Maybe these will change in the future. Do you have any friends? Oh, she's old friend with Shan Bullock, Christian DeSenta, who I think is a neighbor of ours. I think he lives right here. Maybe not. It's the Reeves family. I don't know. But there's this guy here, DeSenta. I think he's someone who lives over here. She has a bunch of good friends, actually. Wow. And yes, she's actually pretty good at logic, at athletic, charisma, and... Oh, handiness. So maybe she can continue to upgrade the sink. Yes, let's continue to upgrade the self-cleaning one. Keith, in the meantime, I'd like for you to go and assist the accountants at the at the business office. And then you're gonna go ahead and go to the park and ask Clarissa to, to play chess with you. I'm so glad that they moved in together and her favorite color is purple. So if they, you know, I think eventually they're going to move house for sure because there's no room for a baby in this in this house and they will have a baby for sure soon. Now, usually in my gameplays, on my own or even on the channel, I never have my sims get married. So my question for you guys today would be, would you like for these two, for Lydia and Keith, to get married? Like having a proposal, having maybe a party to celebrate their engagement, and then having a real wedding? Or do they just stay girlfriend and boyfriend, have children, and maybe far in the future eventually decide to get married? Please let me know in the comments because this is usually how I play my game. I just have my sims move in together and to me this is like the biggest commitment that you can take in the sims. You move in together and then eventually my sims have kids and one day maybe one of them decides that they want to get married. Maybe they never do and they just die being boyfriend and girlfriend and they're happy this way. But maybe we can try to experience the weddings before. So let me know in the comments what you would like to happen. Do, do you want for them to get married before they have children or maybe have a child and get married? I don't know, just let me know what you would like to see. She actually wanted to upgrade something. She wants to, to win a ranked chess match. Well, I guess this is what we can do. And she wants to get pumped. Maybe she can go as well to, to the gym. Then let's go and use and let's clean the shower and take a shower. Oh, there's actually a neighborhood grillathon over here. I've always seen those pop-ups here saying neighborhood grillathon, but every time my Sims go there, there's no one and nothing to do. Are there any Sims actually? There's this person here, Charlie Galvin, who's going to grill something apparently. So this is what happens at a neighborhood grillathon, like Sims just grill stuff and that's it. Maybe this is just to get to know the neighbors. Is it? Oh, Clarissa is going to work! Alright, so if we want to play chess with her, we need to ask her to come to the park before 3pm, apparently. That's so annoying. You fix the books and they now make complete sense. Your manipulation of the numbers actually saves the company a great deal of money, some of which the business is more than glad to pay to you. Great, so we've earned, I think, 750 simoleons. That's not too bad. He does need some fun now. Alright, neighbor neighborhood grillathon. The counts the city council is hosting a another grillathon in the park. All Sims with cooking skill are invited to come out and grill some food and share it with others around in order to foster kindness and neighborly feelings. Grill five times to improve relationships with townies and receive a community griller award. Sure, why not? Can she can Lydia maybe join us here? She wants to throw a party, she wants to buy a logic skill book. I mean, I could definitely throw a party eventually. And she wants to read a logic skill book. Can we try to call Clarissa over? Although I'm pretty sure since we saw her go to work that it's not going to work. Do you work tomorrow? He does. Maybe he needs to wake up like really early in the morning and go to the park at like save it, seven in the morning, call her over. Now we need to call her in five hours, but then it'll be a little bit too late. So because you're a little bit hungry, let's go and serve some... Let's make some tofu dogs. But yeah, the neighborhood grillathon are always kind of underwhelming in The Sims 3. I don't know if eventually with some expansion packs they actually become more interesting. Maybe with the festivals with seasons, this could be a little bit more interesting. Oh no, the only person who was there is leaving. Well, maybe Lydia could come. She's almost done, I think, with the upgrade as well. Congratulations! Keith has just improved his cooking skill to level 2. And he just burnt his food. Well, you know what? Let's try to make some better tofu dogs since we need to grill five meals. Let's see! 
Sword. I'm really curious to see. Conquer! It's gonna be fine. You're you're gonna be okay. It's just because he's hot headed. But yeah, I'm curious to see what happens if you actually follow follow through with the grillathon. Lydia Lockhart just upgraded a sink. Her sense of pride from improving an object with her own hands won't be forgotten soon. Great. And she wants to work out until fatigued. Well, rather than reading a logic skill book, I actually would like to... She wants to discover a star. I mean, she wanted to get pumped. 300. Actually, this one, the get fatigued one, is worth more than the, the get pumped. And the discover a star was actually worth more than the get pumped. So let's keep these two. She can maybe discover a star tonight. All right. Is the Gulathon over? No, it's still on. Let's have you go here as soon as you're done. Let's grab a plate. Maybe you can try to invite over Marcus, actually, because he called you earlier today. Let's invite over Marcus. Invite out. And then serve... Oh, okay. Uh, let's go to the park here. And serve dinner. Let's serve some hot dogs, because maybe this is what Marcus likes better. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's meet there. Cool. And we can see the beautiful lighting of, of Bridgewood. Who else could we invite? I think there's Haiju as well that we should invite because our relationship has dropped a little bit. Let's invite out. Uh, maybe we can invite our boss. Invite out and let's invite out Nick as well. Actually, we should have thrown just a party and invite everyone over here. Continue grilling, it's gonna catch on fire. Are you kidding me? It's gonna, it's gonna catch on fire. Come on, Marcus, where are you? Lydia is here. Stop chatting with Marcus, I don't care. I feel like he's underground again. Oh no, he's right there. She wants to learn the guitar. Why not? She wants to buy a guitar, which makes sense. You know what? Let's do that quickly. Let's go ahead and buy a guitar. She seems like the curious one, Lydia. There we go. So I got her this guitar here, although I changed it a little bit and I put it, uh, you know, I gave it kind of a purpley tone since this is her favorite color. I'm going to slide it here in her inventory this way. If she wants to play the guitar at the park, it could be fine. Yes, she wants to play the guitar, so she'll play the guitar eventually. Actually, as soon as you're done eating your food, it's going to play. And we do have a car now and she has a beeper as well. But yeah, I'll have to see to change her lifetime wish because I don't think we can go back in the branch in The Sims 3. Alright, can you finish the food? The food is going to be burned. Continue grilling. Stop chatting with Marcus. I know you miss him very much. Yes, it's burned. So let's try to make some better, better hot dogs then. Yeah, you need to improve your guitar skill, Lydia. She wants to become friends with with someone. Are you friends with Marcus? Because I think he's in the... No, let, let, let's stop playing guitar and let's just go and talk with Marcus because I think he's in the law enforcement career too. Is he a co-worker of yours? On... No, you're not going to be attracted to him. You're not going to do anything with him. And no, the neighborhood grillathon has expired. Let's enthuse about the outdoors. Uh, I guess since they can discuss work, it's because they're coworkers. They're in the same career, I guess. Uh, okay, you can maybe eat something then. Alright, so Keith is done eating. I think I'm going to have the both of them go home. Actually, maybe they could play chess together. No, I have a better idea for them to work on their fun need. Yeah, I'm just going to have... Can you disband the group though first? Oh, answer the phone. Go to rabbit hole, disband group. Hi Keith Meister, this is Hydra Arrington. Do you want to hang out? Um, right now, hang out with you really beats going solo. Cool, you had a group, out, a great group outing. But yeah, let's have the both of them, Lydia and Keith, go home. Because I would like for Keith to try and wake up really early tomorrow morning to go out with Clarissa to the park and finally have this chess match because I'm really getting annoyed at him not being able to move on with his aspiration just because there's someone who has to work. Honestly, I could even just go to her to her household and have her quit her job just so that we could play chess with her. <laughs> it's really, really annoying me. All right, so here we are back at home. So before they go to sleep, I would like for the two of them to have some more risky woohoo. But yeah, after that, I'm just going to spit on through the nights and resume tomorrow morning. Hopefully with Keith waking up really early in the morning to be able to get a... to go play a game of chess with Clarissa. Is Lydia tired? She's kind of tired. Does she work tomorrow? Yes, she does. She only works four times a week. She needs to work on her reports. How do you do reports? Research and quality documentation is important to any sim who wants to show off their investigative skills. Get info by questioning any sim in the town or by digging through their trash and write up a report on the computer. 
Oh, let's go and relax on the bed. So maybe we can go to the neighbor's house and rummage through their trash. Maybe we can write a report this way. And I think we need to go to the computer to be able to write a report. I'm not sure, but look at all that money she makes. 193 simoleons per hour. He only makes 40 simoleons per hour. But, you know, he's level 4, she's level 8, so that kind of makes sense. Anyway, they're going to have some fun. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and resume tomorrow morning. It's the next morning and... Oh my god, what is that? I just saw this moonlit! What is... <laughs> well then, so Lisa, Lisa Bridges would like to chat. Ah, uh, no, we're kind of busy. But oh my god, what is this? Nauseous. Lydia isn't feeling so hot. You may want to keep her around a bathroom from a non unknown causes. Do we really don't know what it what this is all about? I doubt it. Anyway, let's go ahead and eat the waffles because that's going to be really important in the future. And Keith didn't get up as early as I thought. He has to go to work within an hour or actually his carpool is going to arrive in an hour. So I'll have to hope that Clarissa doesn't work tonight so that he can go ahead and have a chess match with her tonight. He's just going to get some breakfast, but I'm pretty sure that within a few hours Lydia is going to announce something pretty important to Keith, so maybe they're going to have a wedding early before they have a another family member, or maybe they can just get married later on. Once again, I'm just going to ha to ask you guys what you would like to see. Oh, I'm, s I I'm honestly so excited. It's way earlier than I thought it would, but on the other hand, you know, they do have some money. She earns quite a bit of money already, but if she wants to work out until fatigued, she'll have to do that before she starts showing. So so maybe tonight? I don't know. But yeah, Keith, you need to have another chess match because I'm really getting annoyed at, at you not being able to. Alright, so Lydia is on her way to work. She's in a costume. Maybe she's spying on Clarissa. I don't know. And Keith is on his way to work as well in his nice blue scrubs. So yeah, I will see you later today as soon as Keith is done with work. Oh, we just got this bob up here which says Lydia's partner lost several easy cases and is in deep water with the boss. Should Lydia take the fall and help out a partner in need? In need? Yeah, sure, let's help out. Alrighty then. It's hard to maintain a good relationship when you don't call or hang out with your friends. Bruce Grain and Lydia Lockhart are no longer friends. Oh, I guess this is her boss. I really hope that she didn't lose her job. We kind of need the money right now. <laughs> I don't know if this is an, a, a possibility. Anyway, so blood is not blue. Medical internship is a scary time filled with uncertainty, organs, and many pins of blood. It's of the utmost importance that you read blood is not blue to get you oriented towards a successful internship. You'll surely earn a boost to your job performance and relationship with your boss. Sure. I mean, Lionel loves to read, so I'm not really surprised that he asks Keith to, to read books. Sure, let's read a book. Please tell me you didn't lose your job. Lydia takes the blame. Okay, stop. Who, who stopped work? Oh, I think it's Lydia. Oh, she's still very sick. I'd like for her, though, to go to the gym before she goes home. Where's the gym? It's over here. Visit the gym. Because she wants to she wants to work out until she's fatigued, so let's do that. And I don't think I've ever been to this gym yet. Uh so let's go ahead, let's pump some iron, I guess. Let's don't break a sweat. Quick burst. Get all the benefits of exercising as well as the drawbacks, but in much less time. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a quick burst. Uh, alrighty then, so let's see. Lydia takes the blame for this most recent blunder and gets chewed out by the boss. The other co-workers realize what happened and are very appreciative of, Lee's, of Lydia's actions. Cool. She's made almost a thousand simoleons today. That's insane. I hope when she'll be on maternity leave, she's going to, to earn as much money. Keith ends work at 7 p.m. It's so late. I don't think he's going to be able to get a, a chess match with Lydia. This career is really getting on a in his way. Oh, look at Olivia's outfit. It's actually really cute. I like the stripes. Is that Clarissa? <gasps> Apparently she doesn't work today because she's right there. So maybe we should... Maybe we'll be able to, to have a chess match with her. Oops, Lydia's going to throw up. Okay, let me see that. <laughs> Poor Lydia. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lydia. 
Looks like it's going to be a difficult pregnancy. Oh no, he's using the the workout machine. So then let's go and work out here. Let's do a quick a quick burst. Are there any showers in this place? There must be somewhere. Yes, over here. Is there some kind of gender restriction? Oh, there is. Alright, already then. Let's go here and you're gonna take a quick shower as soon as you're done working out. I'm gonna keep an eye on Clarissa, but hopefully as soon as Keith is done with work, he'll be able to call her over. Look at how she's running! There we go, I think she's just accomplished it. She wants to go to the spa, sure. And she wants to become friends again with her boss. We'll do that for sure as well. And Clarissa apparently improved her athletic skill to level 1. It took you that long? Well, I guess as soon as Lydia is done taking a shower, I could have her go to the spa. Where is the spa, by the way? Oh, I think it's right there. So, day spa. Oh, we can visit the matchmaker. What is this? That's interesting. I'll have to check that out eventually, but I don't think I'm going to do that with Lydia or even Keith, because I'm wondering if this isn't something that will involve some kind of date. I'll have to see what this is all about. Let's get body treatment. Steam bath, salt scrub, volcanic clay bath. Get a massage. I think I'm gonna have her get a massage. Let's get a Swedish massage. Although I wanted to keep an eye on Clarissa at the gym. Is she still there? No, she's not here anymore. Where is Clarissa? She's in the toilet. Actually, I'm going to keep this notification here because I can zoom in on her. And I, get, I can keep an eye on her and see what she's up to. Alright, so Keith is done for his day of work. Clarissa just left the, the gym. So let's go right away to the park and hopefully we'll be able to invite Clarissa over. I think Lydia is done as well with her with her massage. I'm going to keep the wish to become friends with her boss again. Maybe she can go and eat at the restaurant, although I think she's going to get tired pretty quickly. So let's just go home. Alright, so Keith is at the park. Let's invite over the next rank chess opponent. He'll need to do some research as well because he rolled the wish to earn a promotion. He also really wants to hang out with Marcus. But he's not really that far from being able to get the promotion he needs, or he wants actually. Talk about a day of pampering, Lydia Lockhart decided to spend some time at the spa. She will always remember getting a foot massage while enjoy a hot kelp body wrap. Cool! Where is Clarissa? She's right there. Okay, she seems happy to be here. Let's have this ranked chess match. How do you feel? <gasps> I kind of want to cheat his hunger because I don't want for him to get up. Let's just have this chess match already. Lydia, in the meantime, I think you're feeling great. You're just a little bit hungry. She's going to eat some waffles again. I think when a sim is pregnant, eventually they get some wishes to get some special kind of foods. I'd like to try and make that food for Lydia. Could be fun. Do you need anything? Yes, she needs some reports. Well, I, as soon as she's done eating, I guess I can have her... Where is the trash can over here? Oh, it's right there. Maybe she can rummage through the trash can and see what we can discover of that person. I'll have to remember to zoom in on her just to see. Tell me that you're playing chess with Clarissa. You are, thank god. Now you have to win. Keith, you have to win this chess match because I'd like to... I'd like to have a chess match with someone else than Clarissa. Finally, just move on. Maybe he's going to evolve as well in his... in his rank. He's ranked 2. Actually, the highest ranked opponent he defeated was Lydia. Cool. He lost six matches and won only seven. You need to you need to improve that, Keith. I think Lydia is rummaging through through the trash. Yes, she is. Look at her. She might need to take a shower again. Is there someone? I heard a door. I think Sims can yell at you if they see you rummaging through their trash. Now, is she going to get any kind of information? Oh, you'll need to recycle this. Oh, look at that! She's got some bubble bath. We'll need to have a bath, though, for her to be able to use that. There's someone in the house. Alright, Lydia, you need to go home as soon as you're done. Oh, they just went into bed. Look at that, it's freaky. Alright, Keith, how is it going with you? He lost again? Are you kidding me? After sifting through numerous, numerous piles of sim, sli, slimy trash, sorry, Lydia has found some solid information on Lionel Reeves. Oh, but this is... That's right, Keith just leaves, ne ne leaves next door to his boss. And Keith has lost. Let's challenge again. We have so much in common, I'd love to get to know you. Everyone is attracted to Lydia. Strange. Lydia is behaving inappropriately. If she continues, I will have to ask her to leave. Yeah, so she got oh, caught apparently. Lydia, do you need anything? She's just really said to have lost a friend. 
Can you chat with your boss actually? Can we call him? Let's chat. But then I'm just going to have you... How can you write reports? I think we'll need to go to the to the library to be able to use a computer. And then let's just go ahead and chat. And chat and sleep. And Keith, please, just to win this chess match, finally. I think she won again. You suck. I'm so disappointed in you, Keith. Alright, let's go home. We'll have to try that another time. Maybe he needs to improve his... <gasps> Well, there we go! Ta da! <laughs> Lydia Lacar just found out that she's pregnant. She, can wait. she can't wait to make e many more memories with the new family she's starting. Aww. Lydia gets the next four days of work off as maternity leave. Alrighty then. Well, we're expecting a little bundle of joy. We need to improve our house, so I think I'm going to have them move house eventually. Probably for the next part. They do have a little bit of money. In any case, I'm so excited for what's happening right now in their lives. Now, let me know if you would like for them to get married before they have the baby, or if you want for them to get married right after the baby, or if you want for them to get married at all. Just let me know how you would like for things to go. Now, I'm gonna end this episode here. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in, the, in my next video. Bye, everyone!